Welcome back to Ask the Admits Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple. Shane Hawley, an interesting topic today. Yeah, kind of unique. Never heard of it before, and you explained it to me. So tell me. I what did. Is it? So at the end of the segment, I'll tell you kind of where I came up with this because right. it's an interesting story. A lot of people have probably heard this term before, or maybe don't know what it is, or maybe you do, and it's a little more info for you. So it's called catfishing. Um, and I know we've been running out of segments, and no, this doesn't mean we're switching to fishing segments. Right. Um, Even though we are in the water, although there are yeah. no catfish as far as I know around here. That I don't know about. Okay. I'll ask some of the guys that fish at the All right. farm. So um, the Urban Dictionary defines catfishing as someone who pretends to be someone they're not, using Facebook or other social media uh, to create false identities, particularly to pursue deceptive online romances. Yeah. Yes, very interesting. Okay. Now, this is done for one of two reasons. One, um, it, it's just some weird sick fantasy that they have going on. And they either are posting um, pictures of themselves. They're claiming that pictures of other people are them. Right. You know? So they probably downloaded some handsome model yep. photos. Yeah, we'll talk about a lot of the signs that you're being catfished later. Okay. Um, or... Uh, you know, maybe it's they're a woman posing as a man or vice versa, and people find it. It's just weird, weird stuff. Um, and they just do it for that purpose alone, you know, okay. to humiliate someone or um, ruin their reputation. Um, there is a state law about that. However, it's civil in nature. Um, and that you can find in RCW 4.24.790. I know I like People love to fact check me. Yes. So, and that is called electronic impersonation. Okay. And it says if it was done intentionally and intended to deceive or mislead for the purpose of harassing, threatening, intimidating, humility, humiliating, or defrauding another, um, and it causes humiliation, basically. Uh -huh. uh, but that's civil. Right. So it's not a criminal issue. It's nothing we can deal with. You can basically sue them in court, and you would get a monetary penalty if, if that's what happens. Okay, so if that's what happens, they should not call you guys. Yeah, there's really not anything we can do about it. Someone poses as someone else just to mess with you. Yeah. There's really not much we can do about it. Okay. Um, the other reason is it's done for fraud. And we've seen this before. I know when I was in detectives, I worked a case where um, a guy was on a dating website, and she entered into what she thought was this whirlwind online romance, went on for several months, and then, uh, I need money, I need you to send me this, I've got these debts, we can't be together until I get this paid off, and before you know it, you know, access to bank accounts, all that sort of stuff. Um, so they're basically preying on people in online chat rooms and dating websites and so forth, creating fake profiles, um, and these are hard for us to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, probably hard. hard to track, I would imagine. Yeah, and that, that's one of the issues. Um, that is covered under separate state law, which we've had for a long time, which is criminal impersonation. Um, if you pose as someone else to defraud them or commit another crime, that in and of itself is a crime. So you have fraud. You know, they're stealing from you, basically. Yeah. But it, it depends on the situation because the reality is you're freely giving your money to someone. Yes. You've chosen to do that. So it doesn't necessarily equal theft always, but you have the criminal impersonation statute. Right. So um, that's in there. And it, it's awful, but we've seen it before. Um, it's hard for us to put someone behind a computer. Yeah. You know, we have to prove who was doing the typing. And a lot of times when we start looking into them, they're out of the area, out of state, out of country. Yeah. And, you know, it's hard for us to to enforce those. Right. And you said that it had been on the books for a long time, so it probably used to be this would happen in person, right? Yeah. Um, and now it's all of a sudden become so much more difficult because it's online. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a list of signs to look for, um, okay. things to be concerned of. Um, one, they refuse to meet in person. Hey, let's let's meet up. We've had this online relationship for a while. You know, let, let's go have coffee. I want to meet you. Yeah. No, I can't do that. And a whole bunch of excuses. Um, they won't video chat. I mean, you're on the internet, yeah. but they just won't video chat. Um, claims of serious disease or injury. You know, I'm, I'm in the hospital, I'm laid up, I can't fly, whatever the case may be. Um, unusual, unusually attractive profile images. <laughs> so, um, it, yeah. It's not possible that you could possibly <laughs> find this person, folks. Let's just be real, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, 
I, I get it, but you know, most of us aren't supermodels, yeah. and um, the fact that you just happen to find, you know, that one person, and oh my word, look at the profile picture, yeah. Um, so that that's a red flag. Um, personal information that just doesn't add up. You know, something's wrong. You just kind of get that gut feeling. Um, and then ultimately, if you get requests for money. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's... The ultimate red flag. The ultimate red flag. Okay. So I came up with this and thought about it. I was on my way into work listening to the radio, and they had um, a segment they were talking about some woman who basically got catfished. And there was an unusually attractive profile picture. And apparently she was able to run it through some sort of search program, I don't know if it's through Google or what, and it located that photo on the internet and she realized it was some famous person in Europe or something. Mm. And she actually reached out to the famous person right? and they started a relationship and they're together now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I thought that was kind of entertaining. I think wow. she might have written a book or published something about it. That's and that funny. got me thinking about it. So um, I, I guess maybe you can have a happy ending, but not usually. <laughs> Um, but it was an unusual topic, and I thought, eh, it might be worth throwing it out there and, and let people know. So. And, and now, the next time you hear the word catfish, you'll know that it might not be what you think. Yeah. Might not be something you're going to have for dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, buyer beware as always, right? Always, always. Always be careful and, you know, be careful what you're getting yourself into. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Right. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. We'll be back soon with another episode of Ask the Edmonds Cop.